All right, we'll see how that works out. In the meantime, let's go over to Caitlin McGrath, joining us live right now from the U.S. Botanic Garden. Uh, Caitlin, who's, uh, you got, looks, looks like you got a friend with you. I do. I have Devin Dotson from the U.S. Botanic Garden here with me to talk about some really exciting things going on at the garden. It's been through a lot over the past several years. Part of it's never closed, part of it's been open for a while, and the inside part just opened in early April. We're so excited to welcome people back to the conservatory. It's been open since April 1st, and it's back open again every day of the year. So if people want to come by, no tickets required, no cost for entry. We'd love to welcome everyone back. And you guys came back with a big bang. Really exciting exhibit going on inside. We have a brand new exhibit all about agriculture. It's called Cultivate, and it really tells the story of agriculture from science and innovation to who's growing the food crops around the United States and around the world, and what do those foods mean for cultural and community connections. Excellent. And this beautiful sculpture, the bicentennial sculpture, not so long term, right? The, in, the agriculture one has about two years left? Yep, just open, going to run for two years inside for the agriculture exhibit. This is a special stickwork sculpture that we created right before our bicentennial. We turned 200 years old in, in uh, 2020, and so we created this uh, temporary stickwork sculpture, and it's already been up for almost three years. They are temporary because it's made of natural material, so we think it'll probably end its life maybe later this year. So if you're a fan or if you haven't seen it yet, come on down. You at least have the summer and maybe early fall. Excellent. Well, we strategically started our interview in the shade and now we're in the sun. So let's get to some weather graphics, shall we? Because it is toasty out here.